Welcome to Tales from the Caveside, where Lillian and Chris, we bought a cave house and finca on the outskirts of a small Spanish town. Follow us as we learn to renovate and create a home that we will be proud of. We had beautiful sunshine earlier, although the sky was divided between blue and black. It's still quite bright over that way. Look what's coming over the quarry. Dover just keeping an eye out. Where's the noise coming from, mate? It's absolutely fascinating watching these cloud formations. We've got the rain coming down. Just uh, adjust the camera so I don't get any shake. There, yeah, that's better. There's rain coming down, but also these clouds are going up really, really quickly. And we watch this rain from come in. Yes, yeah. Because only two minutes ago, if I turn this, over there, um, we could see the salt quarry behind the mountain. Yes. Um, and we were discussing the way the rain's moving across, progressing across the sky, because it's quite amazing. And to turn that back, so you, hopefully they'll see the clouds coming up. Yes, it's, it's those clouds going, the black clouds going up at that point, and this this rain coming down here. Yes. Just watching it move across really quickly, it's amazing. And now that's the size of coming out the sky. <coughs> I think they'll hurt if they hit you. A lot. Yeah, weird. They're like clear around the outside. Yes. Dogs, go home. Come on, Loki. Come on, mate. If it hits you, it'll hurt. They are crazy. Yes, they are. Massive holes just fallen there. Ow! Told you. Yes, it does hurt. Yes. I mean, they're not, they're not like you see on the on the TV programs where the where the uh, in America where the poor people have been hammered by massive hailstones. But no, I've never seen anything this size. I've stung on my back. Well, you wouldn't believe the weather we had yesterday. Looking at it now, and look, the sun's just breaking through. Wow. The sun shines on the righteous. Uh, look over there, then. Look at the nice bit. It's <laughs> shining on the right, just. <laughs> so I'm off to town to get the tyres changed and uh, I'll see what state town is in. The local internet, Facebook pages and such like had lots of videos of town being flooded. Only in the Rambala, which is what it's there for, to collect the water and make it go away. But um, I'll see if there's any aftermath, let's say. I'm just coming up on the town of Penoso now. There's been nothing of note on the roads in the countryside. All the storm drains have done their, their job. There was no areas of extra anything, just all nice and clear, no problems. So let's see what's happened here, because it was in this town that social media had videos of it. Uh, somewhat waterlogged, let's say, let's put it nicely. Okay, this bit up here when I turn right, <coughs> this is the storm drain Rambala in the centre of town. There is a bit of water down there. Oh, it's cleared, it's done its job. The social media posts and videos yesterday were showing all of this down here completely flooded and actually coming up onto the road here in front of us. the remains of red tape there stopping people from trying to cross so if you want to get to the other side there are crossings across in the middle of this and people park their cars there when it's dry and some people park their cars there when it's dry and then don't remove them when it's very wet and they have caused problems which is why they block it off when it's full <coughs> but nothing really of note it's done its job drop the car off it's going to be about an hour which is fine, but I've got an hour to kill on an industrial estate in the outskirts of town. <laughs> I'm 
Let's see what we can find. Just glad the rain's holding off, otherwise this would be a very unpleasant walk. Oh, no unpleasantness at all. There's a bar around the corner. That's new. This is lovely. Didn't know this was here. I better not bring Chris in. He likes some of these beers. Really nice. Red wine jam. <laughs> very strange. Because I'm sat outside this very, very nice shop, bar, about to have a coffee, but I'm sat in the middle of an industrial estate. Look at my view. That you see over there, Manans, that's an agricultural wholesalers. That's the main road out of town. The young lady who's just served me my coffee. Looks like a very nice coffee too. It's just closed the door on the bar shop. I think she's going to phone her friends and tell them that there's a mad woman outside making videos. <laughs> I'll just let Lily out. The rain has done some serious washing away. Let's get this filled. Yeah. Cave roof needs clearing a bit as well. But we want the weed roots to stay to help bind the stuff so that things like this don't happen. So all the waste we had from uh, the caves, we have to uh, we shall have to do something with it because it's uh, washed right down. Okay, right. Well, I kind of made that a bit smaller. I've done what I can. It is only a uh, lime rubble waste. But it looks a lot better. I've got no way of uh, compacting it, so I'm hoping that it'll settle a bit. And then when the rain comes home with the new tyres on, you're not going to get damaged. Right, Let's see what them two are up to. Uh, plain. So I'm walking around the industrial estate and uh, just thought I'd give you some sort of perspective as to what these storm drains are like. Look at the size. There you go, you've got a cat for an idea of size. They do their job. The water is directed to where it needs to go. Yeah, there's there's no sign of flooding, silt, any problems around here. It all did its job, which is fantastic. Well, that was painless. All sorted for new tyres. Uh, can't tell the car drives any differently, but there you go. It's got four new shoes. That's all that matters. So I'll pass her on home now. just up over there on that mountainside that is the other side of the quarry so what we see white on our side of the quarry this is the other side of some of the spoil <coughs> that is all that this side of the mountain sees even though the town on this side of the mountain owns the quarry quite a different uh, vista isn't it and I'm at the bodega well it would be rude not to, seeing as I'm passing, wouldn't it? Right, home again. I can see Loki in the garden and I can see Chris in the garden.
That is Chris. Does it feel any better? It does actually. Good. It does actually, yes, very. Yeah. I thought it would. So guys, when I showed you on the road, I'm going to have dogs going mental here. On the mountain on the other side, you can see how much spoil was going over. You can see on our side, we don't, we, this town doesn't own this quarry. This is how much spoil there is on this side of the mountain in comparison to how little it was on the other. Just interesting. All dressed up. Yes. Clean clothes. I know, I put this on because it keeps raining and it's hot. Well, you're, hot. you're regretting it already. I am, I am. We are going to vote. Yes. Our first time in Spain, voting. Yep. Um, it, the system is different here to how it is in the UK. In the UK, when we used to go to vote, you voted for a particular person. You put your ex next to this person's name. Here, you vote for a party. Yeah. So... We've not done it before, as we said. We've got all our ID. We've got the correct paperwork. We've registered to do it. And we'll yep. tell you all about it when we get back. Well, we're back. Yes. No dog damage. Nope. Thankfully. We've only gone about 20 minutes. They were settled after about five of us, five minutes of us being back. Yep. So that's good. We yeah. are... Was, the training is working slowly. Who? Oh. Excuse the thunder in the background. <laughs> Again. <laughs> okay. So it was painless. Yes. We had our paperwork, as we said before we went. Uh, you walk in um, we had been given two envelopes one to vote on a town level yes. and one to vote on a state level Valencia in our case yes and we I asked the question are we allowed to vote on both because I didn't think we were and no we weren't we're allowed to vote for our local town yes. and that's all so that's fine not a problem yep. you walk in you show your ID they shout out your name and both the people who are in charge of taking the votes from you, the little box, yeah. write your name down. And there's representatives from each party, not necessarily the people who are looking to be voted in, but no. there was representatives from each party. Yeah, on two tables behind, and they crossed you off the list. Yeah, they were not allowed to have any communication no. other than to say hello. Yes. And actually, when we was in there, it was somebody's birthday today, and everybody just sang happy birthday to him, which, yes. is, which is quite cool. It was, wasn't it? Yes. It was very laid back. Yeah. <clears throat> so we did our vote. Yep. Um, your envelope, sealed envelope, goes into a clear box. Yes. Um, so everybody can see that only you've only put one in. Yep. And in my case, because I was in a different area to you, they actually had the box slot covered until, yes, it was your, until it was your turn to pop yours in. Yes, the same, same on my side. Okay. And the town police were there as well. Um, they were stood outside in where you, the room you went to, they stood inside. Yes. I guess it's because it had been raining. Probably. <laughs> but they were stood there keeping an eye on everything as well to mm -hmm. make sure there's no whatever they were actually looking for. I don't no really idea. Know. But it was very well organised, parking mm. space, in and out. Everybody knew what they were doing. Yep. And they helped us, even though we were foreigners, to do our bit for our town. Yep. Thanks for watching Tales from the Caveside. If you like what we do, Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Drop us a like and leave us a comment. See you on the next one.